Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 18 player review. Today, we're going to be looking at second in form Marlos, someone that used to be a complete silver gem back in the day, used to be Brazilian, but of course has had his nation change during FIFA 18 and is now from the Ukraine. Uh, 86 rated the second in form Marlos with 87 pace, 84 shooting, 87 passing, and a whopping 90 dribbling. Those are some awesome stats right off the bat. He's 5 foot 9 with medium, medium work rates, left footed on the right hand side with only three star weak foot but he does have the perfect five star skills so that is uh that's a pretty impressive start you know just looking at the stats and whatnot i think we're probably going to enjoy this player so i've got him in a couple of different squads here the first is a mix between the french league premier league and his league of course the ukrainian league uh, and then this is the main sort of squad that i was using him in we've got him in a front three uh featuring players from this week's team of the week you know players that we've already reviewed uh, in asensio in camaro uh, and of course himself now moving on in to the end game stats this is a second special item for a player so i'm I'm hoping those stats are going to be uh, actually quite nice and I was definitely impressed when we got in there because uh, well particularly the shooting stats the dribbling stats there's some really really nice uh, numbers in there that are going to help us uh, get a lot of success with this player today I'm happy with the passing stats that he's got and of course the dribbling's great off the bat so let's just boost him with a hunter chemistry style boosting that pace and the shooting to awesome levels we're talking 90 for finishing 91 long shots and the perfect 99 acceleration so pretty good by using the hunter chem style today we can now move on to the clips and you guys are going to see some of the attempts that didn't quite make it into the back of the net and then all of the goals that i was able to score with the shaktar winger um we can talk positives and negatives and i'll just get the negatives out of the way first Weak foot, especially noticeable because you're on the right-hand side. You know, three-star is not necessarily going to cut it. I feel pretty confident shooting with a, a four-star weak foot player, but Marlos's uh, three-star right foot is, is just not what not what I want on this game. You know, you're, you're pretty much forced to get it onto his left uh, every single time. I would highly recommend doing that. If you're inside the box and you're slowed down and composed, then yeah, you might be able to hit a low driven on that weaker foot. If that's the only option you've got, then go for it. But other than that, stick to the left. It is much better, I promise you. Uh, and then strength, you know, Marlos, this is the second in form. I'm not necessarily expecting him to be a strong player, but it's definitely something which is going to... Uh you're going to notice in game because you are going to bump into defenders from time to time and he might keep his foot in because his agility and stuff is pretty good but overall you're probably going to lose possession because he's he's very very weak uh, and that's just how it goes you know he's a flair player i'm not expecting strength but it's something that you guys should know about uh, so now moving on to the positives they were the only real negatives that i could think about for this player because we got on really well in game. He was awesome. I really enjoyed him. Complete and utter gem in my eyes. Uh, pace is fantastic. Of course, helped with the Hunter Chem style. Uh, but it just generally like feels really, really quick. Both in acceleration and sprint speed. On and off the ball. He's a very quick player. Uh, he does have brilliant ball control, takes that in very nicely with a first touch, gets it out of his feet, keeps it close to his feet, whatever you want him to do, he seems to be able to do it. Uh, and alongside that, he's very agile, you know, turns really well on the ball um, and has brilliant dribbling. So, you know, the ball is going to stick to his foot like glue. He has got the five star skill moves to work with as well which is just perfection that's what you want with a player you know if, if you're winning a game comfortably you can try out a few tricks a few new skills to, to see if you can score something fun uh, and of course even if it's a tight game the five star skills can come in handy because you are able to pull off things like the Berber spin a bit quicker because it becomes a Magidi spin um, and, and, and things like that can definitely help get you that little bit of an edge that you need in game his short passing was particularly, well, I, I liked it. You know, it helped us get goals as a team. Whether or not it was Marlos coming out on the end after doing a quick one-two, or whether he just passes it into the likes of Gamero, who then takes that strike, it worked really well. Um, and, and I felt pretty confident, even actually on the weak foot with that, with the, with the passing. He seemed to be pretty, to be pretty accurate with that, um, and, and I could definitely rely on him. Uh, and then overall, probably one of the best positives we can give to this player is that his shooting is a bit of a madness. You're seeing some of the goals go in. Some of them have unbelievable power behind them, and then some of them are just pretty accurate. But overall, I love the left foot of Marlos. Taking shots 
pretty much from anywhere. I tried shooting from anywhere and everywhere, really, just to test it out. Uh, and I had a lot of success, whether that was long shots, whipping a finesse shot, um, particularly the long shots with the power, you know, uh, up into the top corner and past the goalkeeper. They seem to work really well. And, of course, low drivens. We all know how good they are on this game. So, yeah, I think he's a beast. A complete and utter gem on FIFA 18 for me. It may not be the easiest thing to link him to certain players on the game. Um, but, of course, you can use icons if you want. And there are some decent players for Shakhtar uh, that you can use at your disposal. So, there you go, guys. I hope you now know whether or not second in four Marlos is right for your ultimate team. Have a good one, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.